Hair's not supposed to be green like Faith's not supposed to be seen The sky's not supposed to touch the ground And a square's not supposed to be round Red's not supposed The moon's not supposed to touch the sun And a two is not supposed to be a one The heart's not supposed to weigh a ton And forever's not supposed to be done Winter's not supposed to come in June not supposed to have the blues there are so many things that are not supposed to be babe, except you and me there are so many things that are not supposed to be Ooh, babe, yeah, except you and me night's not supposed to be long yeah. no one is supposed to be alone Understanding is not supposed to be confused And the wind is not supposed to lose Like fire's not supposed to freeze Or like joy is not supposed to grieve Like you are not supposed to leave What I said I'm not supposed to mean He is not supposed to have your heart Baby, we are not supposed to be apart There are so many things that are not supposed to be said Surf with no creation or oh, a heart with no feelings or a sickness without a healing, just like a frozen spring or bird with no wings, just like a song out of key. That's how my life would be like the night skies with no stars. supposed to be seen the sky's not supposed to touch the ground and a square's not supposed to be round the moon's not supposed to touch the sun and a two is not supposed to be a one and the heart's not supposed to weigh a ton and forever's not supposed to be done winter's not supposed to come in june and i am not supposed to have the blues there are so many things that are not supposed to be babe, except you and me there are so many things that are not supposed to be Ooh, babe, yeah, except you and me night's not supposed to be long yeah. no one is supposed to be alone understanding is not supposed to be confused And the wind is not supposed to lose Like fire's not supposed to freeze Or like joy is not supposed to grieve Like you are not supposed to leave What I said I'm not supposed to mean He is not supposed to
supposed to have your heart Baby, we are not supposed to be apart There are so many things that are not supposed to be said You and me There are so many things That are not supposed to be Hey, baby It seems just like no seasons changing Serve with no creation or oh, a heart with no feelings or a sickness without a healing, just like a frozen spring or bird with no wings, just like a song out of key. That's how my life would be like the night skies with no stars.
something. So now I'm closer to God. But being closer is hard. The attacks get stronger. They become much harder to fight and they last longer. That's what it's always been. Joy, pain, dark with the light, sun with the rain. But with the right perspective, it can be something to gain. Yo. Can I with you? What? Hey, CT, do you see this? Look, if it ain't official Dana J, Levi for Kelly, or Prima Donna News, I don't even want to see it. It takes a Look, you got some weed? Dang. I gotta get some. Alright, hurry up. These and them here, everybody here, we waiting on you. Alright. There's more, more for you, more for us. DJ discretion. No, 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 still sick. I ain't talking that pandemic. DJ discretion. No, 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 still sick. I ain't talking that pandemic. DJ discretion. No, 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 still sick. I ain't talking that pandemic. Hey, yo, lesson here, babe. You come at the king, you best not miss. Bell on them. They, they be think I'm doing voodoo. Can't understand the words you saying. You need a translator. I aim before I shoot, then I assassinate her. She be catching that Holy Ghost. She had a loss for words. Said she really wanna wet the fabric, so I'm a softened nerd. Was a good girl when I met her, and she was so pure. Now I got her in the back room talking about her numb her and get cured. That's what you get when you messing with the boys in the hood that's from the south. We be like, do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? She got just what she wanted, and she know I'm home. I guess that's why it seems. I got this honey speaking Whoa. in tongues.
everybody that's here on a Sunday. Oh my God. I couldn't take it no more. I couldn't wait another day. So many lies and personal opinions and personal analogies going this way and that way. Like I said, anybody who haven't been in this fight since day freaking one. Do not know what the hell is going on. Everybody talking about, I cracked this, I did this, I did that. You ain't do nothing but just turn the page. I'm going to be here for a minute today. Now, I might lose some associates. That's fine. I know this live going to have a lot of people in an uproar and going to have people coming at me, but that's fine too. Because now I'm going to connect the dots. That's in your face for the last three years. This goes deeper than three years. But I'm going to connect the dots. That's in your face for three years. So. I'm going to. This is going to be lengthy. I'm looking at the tabs that I have open. This is going to be lengthy. I'm looking at the tabs that I have open. And let me put this back here. 1644, that's me. Okay, who's 1649? Oh, 1649, got to stay there. 1644 is me. Okay, that's me right there. Looking at it, y'all see? Okay, everything's there. All right, cool. I just had to make sure everything was straight. Now, y'all know I don't like going live on Sundays. That's normally my rest day until like 8 p.m. when I go do Church Boy Chronicles and stuff like that. However, I've been telling people on this side and as free agents and on the other side that a lot of shit that they've been spewing out has been lies. When people say something wrong on this side, I will tell them, yo, you are wrong. That's not what happened. This is how it happened. They are subscribers and run and be like, oh, no. this." Look, I don't care about what people say in the chat. <laughs> because if you don't know the truth, it don't make sense. When I have the truth and I know the truth and I've been here the whole time from day one. So, first of all, shout out to everybody that's over there on Facebook land. Shout out to everybody on We Got Ups. Shout out to everybody that's on YouTube. Shout out to everybody that's in LinkedIn. Now, we about to go to school. This ain't going to be one of them lives that's going to be, oh, <laughs> over with. I want y'all to really hear what I'm saying. I really want y'all to hear what I'm saying. I've been hearing for the last week or week and a half since Jennifer Bojean put in ineffective counsel. Now, it's some people that's mad about that. It's some ineffective counsel that's mad about that. Mad that she even put that in there. So, as I sat back and I listened to Shabazz today. That's why I'm late. Because I was actually, I was listening to Shabazz. And I heard him mention that nobody on the YouTube streets talks about ineffective counsel. Hmm. 
I've read it, but I haven't mentioned it. And when I went back and scoured through people's channels, he's right. Nobody have talked about ineffective counsel. I'm sorry. I got 170 people in here. I should have 100 likes. Let's get them likes up. I only got 48. So it dawned on my mind of why nobody can talk about ineffective counsel. Maybe one, people don't know what ineffective counsel is. And shout out to the people who just came in. I want to say shout out to y'all. Thank y'all for coming. Y'all could have been anywhere, but y'all chose to hang with me today. But a lot of people don't really don't know what ineffective counsel is. Or a lot of people are afraid to point out ineffective counsel because of the fact that maybe they're complicit with the ineffective counsel. Now, I'm going to start here. I'm going to start here. Let me take this off the screen for a second. Let me take that off the screen for a second. I'm going to start here. This guy. This guy. I'm going to start there. That guy. Now, when I say I'm going to start there, y'all should know it's going to be, it's about to be something real. Anybody can say whatever, right? But he said he collected thousands of dollars to take to Greenberg. Now, Greenberg, by no means necessary, is not supposed to take any type of fundraising money within his office in Chicago. No. The only money he can take in Greenberg I mean, the only money Greenberg can take in his office is somebody paying him. So when somebody take thousands of dollars, but Greenberg say only $420 reaches his office, and this person running around talking about, oh my God, oh my God, the defense fund this, defense fund that. I got a question. Where's the rest of R. Kelly's money? Okay? So the only defense fund that was set up legally and legitly was this one right here. The only legally and legitly defense fund that was set up through Robert Sylvester Kelly that was that's being overseen and overheld by the federal uh, the federal authorities that's in a trust fund this is the only account that can give an account of how much is there nobody else can so i get it ineffective counsel when you accepting funds on behalf of Robert Kelly, and you know you ain't supposed to. And on top of that, whether it's true or false, it's out there. So now you have to contend with the lie that's out there. I know it's false, but whether it's true or false or not, it's out there. And the lie that's out there, and the lie that's out there is the fact that Greenberg office is the only office. Hold on, because I'm going to get it for you. I'm going to get it for you. Greenberg office is the only office where they said that the only, I guess, the dirty prize were the only ones that turned in funds on behalf of Robert Sylvester Kelly. Hmm. 
Now, why would you go tell that lie? Like I said, I don't have to respond right away, but when I do, it's going to be epic. Because on this time, I really ain't think about it, but I had some time to think about it. So, when you sit back and say things like that, like, yo, Greenberg said that, yo, this is the only funds, but I came for R. Kelly. That puts a damper on Doug Anton, myself, and Levi. Which makes it seem like we were stealing from Robert. Which some people went to Chicago and said. And I was approached. Now we go to school. What up, Prima? If that's the case, then I should be an asshole and report Greenberg to the Bar Association. And then put it live and see what actually really happened. Because I have the sound bite when the brother said, oh, we collected thousands of dollars for Robert. But Greenberg said only $420 came to him. Now watch this. Greenberg said he only got checks and money orders. So you mean to tell me that people from all across the world were sending that dirty slum dumb person money and he went and got certified checks and money orders and didn't keep none for himself when he told you that, oh, if I would have had a, a defense fund, I would put some in the pocket for myself. Make this make sense. How much was really collected? But then we're going to go here. He made a statement today that said this. The statement said, all Bozo churches, I don't know who Bozo is, but okay, all Bozo churches info, send it here at getserious at ymail.com. So, and then he said, at official Dana J, Sarah Remy will be calling that church. I'm glad you posted that. Because every church I play for, Pastor, is watching this right now. I'm very calculated in what I do. So now that they're watching this, I'm going to say this. I don't know a Sarah Remy. I never met a Sarah Remy. I never talked to, I don't think, a Sarah Remy. But what I do remember is that you don't know how to work a computer. And I do know you live with Sarah Remy. And I do know that mysteriously, since you don't know things about a computer, my son face appeared on a penis. My son face appeared in a toilet with a black eye, right? Okay, so that means Sarah Remy is sitting back making these memes for you and you running with it and posting it on the internet, which is, which is terrorizing a minor child. So I'm going to take a playbook out of one of my enemies that used to be my friend. So now we're going to call Sarah Remy's job and we're going to let, and we're going to let Sarah Remy job know that this is what she's doing for her dude, her baby daddy. That's on the internet raising propaganda about a minor child. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. I'm not going to sit back and wait, which also I will say, you was the vehicle that pushed everything forward of me getting, you know, terminated from my job and before, and me losing my crib. Bedbug was the voice, but you was the instrument and behind it. So I think it's only time to return that favor to Sarah Remy. Time for Sarah Remy and you to lose everything. So we will be contacting Sarah Remy's supervisor first thing in the morning. That's how we're going to rock with that. Because see, Dana J do not rock with Slumboski and his associates. And I must go ahead and I'm going to say this. Anybody, anybody that vouch for Glenda is complicit and dirty. 
and keep watching. I'll show you why. Next up, this right here. Shout out to Prima Donna, which is my sis. Love her to death. Never turn her, never turn my back on her. Never will. Never should I. At the thing is, I got four whole categories, right? Now, at the bottom, this is Sandra. She got a picture of Rob and Don Russell, right? But I want you to come cat a corner slant to the left. October 19th. Whoever Barbie doll at gmail.com is wrote, Hello, Dana. This is Sandra J. I don't know a Sandra J, not unless this is the Sandra right here. There is someone using Kel's Instagram to scam women out of money, their money. But then I get a text on Instagram from his real account that I'm just seeing was, uh, I think it's a started August something to talk to me. We talked for a few days. Then he or they asked for my number to text. And this is the number he or they said, honey, can you do me a favor and check my account balance? Account number 00379265 Last four digits of my SSI 4389 under Robert S. Kelly, Bank of America. Wait a minute. Then it have the Bank of America number and it says call any Bank of America. At that time, at the time I called, there was over $2 million in there. I text how much and he or they said, now do you believe me? It's me. Stop. Robert. This is 219 now, October. This is after he got booked. The only person to have access to that was Don Russell and his mama. And I got the audio to prove it where he said he got the passport. He got the Sony portal. He got the signature. He got the SSI. So I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even remember this. That's how important that was to me. But then I scroll down. I see Kelly R. Kelly. And then it says Nakia. Which puzzles me because Nakia rocks with Sylvia. Uh-oh. Then it says Nakia. Yeah, God's plan. You also, well, <laughs> I guess we know who God's plan is. That must be the fake page or the backup page. So it says Nakia. Yeah, God's plan. You also did what really hurt my feelings. Yeah, for real. And I told you what and what I used to and I hold on. Yeah, for real. And I told you what and what I used the cards for. So you like the way I am talking once in a while or you are happy with all what that's going on. I challenge you this morning, Nakia. This is starting to get crazy. Let's go. They are not in order. I'm just, as they going, I'm going to just break it down. This right here trips me out. Because this is Nicole Blank Becker page. We, we going to talk about ineffective counsel now. We all know that <coughs> Bear Bug was harassing Azriel for months. We all know that. And for y'all that think I'm joking, this is Nicole Blank Becker, Paige, right? Why is she friends with Kevin Terrell? So now my question is, was he put up to go after her by the lawyer team, by the legal team? I don't know. I'm not saying it. These are questions that now I got to ask. Prima Donna said, explains why she was on the Praying Lady channel. They really thought they were talking to R. Kelly. Oh. 
Is that what they thought? <laughs> so I'm lost now because I need y'all to walk with me with this because I'm going to walk y'all down this road, this long road. And this is why they hate me because I can't be denied with this. So now that we see that Kevin Terrell and it's a Houston, Texas is a friend. You know what I mean? Because any other ones say add friends, but Kevin Terrell is a friend along with Kenneth King, but we don't, but Kenneth King is a, is a judge. So Kevin Terrell is not a judge, right? And you see the picture you got a bill. So, we move along from there because we're talking about ineffective counsel, right? Let's go here. Let's read these comments. This was in Trench Chat way back when, when Don Russell was on there, right? Native One said, at Sandra S., did you go through PayPal or sent check or money order to attorney Doug Anton? Look at the lie. Sandra S. said yes. Native one at Daddy Lolo Facts. Sandra S. I wrote check out to Don. Now, wait a minute. Native one asks if you wrote it to Doug. Sandra says she wrote it to Don. So then we're going to keep going. Daddy Lolo said, nah, yo mental, yo, your material is original and authentic. Sandra S. said in memo. I put Rob name defense fund. Stop. If you made a mistake, you would immediately corrected that, right? So let's keep going. Native one said, as Sandra S, are you saying Doug or Don? That's the bait switch. I got to bait you because they talking about Doug, uh, uh, Trent and, and, uh, Don Russell was. So now, Native One is asking, are you talking about Doug or Don? Because we talking about Doug and you said Don. Native One turned around and said, what happened? What you mean what happened? What you mean what happened? She said she wrote the check out to Don and now it's, what happened? Daddy Lolo said, Native One, that's the end of the playback. Then Sandra come back, sorry, Douglas Anton. Sandra S. said, it's okay. I counseled with my bank and reported it. Okay, cool. Well, if Doug did something wrong, then why wasn't, why wasn't he chastised for it? Let's finish. We go into happy people. <laughs> This used to be one of the groups that I was in. Pay attention now. It says, so this lady gets kicked out of Melissa's group for telling the truth. Rob has no access to a cell phone while in federal prison. Melissa removes anyone who doesn't agree with her. That lady is causing so much trouble and confusion with her lies, it's insane. Now, what Melissa are we talking about? We talking about Melissa Alexander, the one who had this cash app. But I'm just going to glance that to you because I got the bigger picture coming. So I'm just going to glance that just so y'all can take a picture because the bigger picture coming as I keep rolling. Melissa Alexander is a stalker. So a whole lot of stuff started coming out. I forgot the cash. I forgot the uh, Twitter handle that, that I said yesterday, but where it got back to me that what I said 18 months ago came back to be true. When people were scolding me saying that Dana, that's not true. Uh, 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 Lisa Kelly is not Melissa Alexander. Well, it came back that, uh, and somebody else said it yesterday, that Lisa Kelly picture is on the handle that was for Melissa Alexander. So my question is, 
How can you be a sister and a lover of Rob at the same time? I'm just saying. Prima said, remember the motion that brought up the person who smuggled the letter to Kelly? Yep, I surely do. Dana got a question. Remember the government said Rob had $10,000 in the defense fund, $500 went to the motion, where the rest of the money went? Yeah, but the rest of the money still there. It's still there. Doug Anton came on and broke it down uh, Friday night. It's still there. I, I'm going to be looking at y'all comments in between. Then they started implying he had a cell phone in jail, and y'all wonder why they helping the narrative Kelly is in control of this enterprise. Facts. But nobody want to look at that, Prima Donna. Nobody want to look at that part. So here, here we go again. Then she put Cal's Angels. No, Cal's Angels was only three people. And I and I keep telling y'all, I will I will reveal who Cal's Angels is, but just not why this case is going on. Trust me, I know who Cal's Angels is, and Azriel is one of them. But it's two more that nobody know about. Y'all, y'all might have mentioned them, but y'all don't know what it was. So then we have M M Melissa Alexander again. This is the same lady but that came out and said that she have a newborn child and Rob been locked up for three years. And then when I came back and debunked it and she said, oh, her eggs were frozen and Rob produced the same man. I just said, look, this this lady is too crazy for me. Now, this is why I said. This is why I said. The truth will always be there. Remember they said Dana had a cash app called Dollar for the King? And people was like, oh, yeah, Dana, Dana did that. Um, only thing I want is apologies. Because when I tell you I didn't do something, I'm telling you I didn't do it. Now, I'm not scared of nobody on, on the Internet or in person. So if I did something, I'd tell you I did it. But now you see the truth. Now you see the truth. Who started that cash app? To make sure that Dana and Levi and Doug name stayed in some BS. But check it. This person came from Bed Bug Channel. And I dare somebody come and challenge me and say, Dana, you're a lie. She wasn't never on Bed Bug Channel. I would go and I would unload every message and then and then go live with nothing but just that. Now, we're going to go here. We're going to still keep going with ineffective counsel. Greenberg, Mike Leonard, Tom Farnella, uh, Doug was still in the case. <coughs> so they pressed Don. You're not, Don said, you're not helping RSK. You're hurting him for fame. I took the pick. And we all know that Jen and Lindsay took, took this picture. But wait, who do we see in this picture? We all know this is Mesero, but look who we see right here. Gucci, right-hand man. One of the ones that set up the R. Kelly aftermath. So then Trinity Smith said the picture was taken by the twins. Confused on why you posted the picture. And Don Russell, Dana, saying, where is R. Kelly 50,000 at? What is going on with that? Check it. Don said, what 50K? Then he came back and said, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It was taken by me. So then we're going to just skim right along. And, 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 and again, I'm just going to laugh it off a little bit. Because then we're going to go here. Don come out and say, RSK's task force just convened from a two-hour strategy session. Brian Nick is the only attorney that has RSK's consent to receive funds in his honor. Stop. How is that sway? When 
Brian Nick didn't even show up to the court session to go against Heather Williams. So where was that money going if it would have went to him? For everybody that said the the uh, Lifetime docuseries ain't had nothing to do with Robert being booked, I told you you're a lie. Here's the write-up. R. Kelly's arrest came about after after agent watched Lifetime docuseries. Now, here's the thing. The agent went on live TV and said it, which is on record. So now you're trying to tell me an agent is willing to risk his, his professional career for just some faulty write-up against R. Kelly? Come on, stop. Stop. Now, I'm going to keep it going. Everybody talking about grown man said this, grown man said that. Watch this. Grown man said Dana J is not a mole. He has never gave me information. I'm willing to go out and stand in front of Team Truth with that. However, he is the scapegoat when I box them in like Rocky with these hands of words. Think. Whenever they get beat up, they deflect. So now, what are you seeing? A lot of deflection. Let me look at your comments. <clears throat> Let me look at your comments. I'm going to start at I am Jams. What up? Oh, what up, Jams? Uh, this around the time they came, right? Uh, Prima Donna said, came to YouTube saying, Anton going to jail. I said, I'll wait. They got mad. Facts. Omar Her said, I'm confused. Hollywood Next already exposed Bobby. Who can we trust? Do you talk to Bobby Dana? Omar Her, I want you to stay right there. I want you to stay right there. Don't go nowhere. Because I'm going to tell you this. She exposed who? That's a lie. And I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go there today. I'm going to expose the whole joint. So. Y'all remember when the million dollar thing came out? Because it was two million dollar things. This is the first one. And when Don tried to go to the uh, people for the editors for the National Enquirer. Yo. I need 50 more likes, man. Just get them likes up. I got 259 in here. I need 50 more likes, please. Well, when Don tried to exploit the National Choir P people, Dottie hits Don Russell up and said, is this true? And is it good or bad for him? It says you have been working to get this deal negotiated. Sorry to just jump in your inbox. Don Russell said, no problem. I've been attempting to prevent them from printing that all day. Dottie said, wow, I wasn't sure if this meant Rob would be getting money for his legal fees down the line or not, or if this was something else. So I thought I would ask you since your name was mentioned. Thanks again for responding. Don Russell said, it a crucifixion carried out by the media. They are attempting to paint him as the ringleader to a criminal enterprise. Stop. You're the main one that went out there doing everything, saying, saying Rob told you to do it. But, but I know some people are going to say, no, Dana, that's not Dottie. I'm going to blow it up. Who is it then? And then Dottie put, JD put you up to this. Jim Dariagas put you up to this. Don said, I see you are now doing JD's work, shaking my, shaking my effing head. Then Don say to Lloyd, no one is interested in that. That seems to be the journalist's agenda of people who want to witness a public crucifixion, crucifixion decided by media. Nothing came of the conversation. It was never a plan. The only person with the plan was Nick. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, are we talking about Brian Nick? Who was the person illegally recording the conversation? 
if that article is printed, it will be in violation of the UCC and I will take immediate ac actions. I'm sure Dylan will follow with legal actions as well. By the way, I never managed R. Kelly. I have publicly said that on several occasions, but you have publicly also said that you managed them too. Make this make sense. I'm going to keep it going. Jerron DePace. Receiving messages about Jim Darrow's book is annoying. Yes, my story in his book was fabricated. It's a lie. Yes, I addressed him regarding this. Please stop messaging me about it. Talk to him. Thanks. Now, let me help you make this make sense. That's why she don't want to come to Chicago, because now she already kept the fabrication going in New York. Now she got to keep it going in Chicago, where she know that people in Chicago knows the truth. That's why I said something crazy is going to happen in Chicago if if it is a court case. She's coming out telling everybody, OK, it's a lie. But the federal government is going to run, run with it because Robert once was his and they want to keep was his. Make it make sense. But an effective counsel, we're going to talk about that still. Let's go here. Don Russell. I kept saying, if there's no Don Russell, Robert don't go to jail. Everybody talking about, nah, -uh, Don did what he did to try to help Robert. Okay, stupid idiot dummies. Let me help you out 101. One more again. Let me help you out. Don Russell talked to Rob, and Rob mentioned ex managers, ex girlfriends. Don Russell, y'all heard the audio when he said, We have a plan in place. I got the Clarys on board. I just need you to be on board. On board mean harass the hell out of the ex-girlfriends, the parents, and the former managers, and the former workers who they perceive stole from Rob. Cool. Y'all remember this? That's why this played out the way it did. Tim Savage. Hallie Calhoun said, you really have some effing nerve. Everyone that has crossed paths with this man has pictures just like this. It's one thing to have an opinion and think just because people aren't speaking publicly on this situation is the reason your girls aren't, aren't home. But you have crossed so many lines, especially with this ignorant A post. You're now effing with my family, antagonizing my mother because I'm home living my life and fulfilling my dreams and your daughter isn't by choice. Miss me with the BS. Stop effing with my family. You're a grown A man seeking attention. F-O-H. Make that make sense. That's what the plan was. That's what the phone call was about. And when Tim was like, no, man, no, man, I'm about to hit for divorce, man. Now watch this. Here we go with this again. Nobody, nobody paid attention to call, which is DJ Tyson. Now, he wrote himself, he said, DJ, listen here, brother, on some real true S, Larry started that joy page, which we all know as started it. I'm from Team Truth, and I know that nigga did it because he was talking about it to me and my guy, Gerald, the day he got into it with Dana and shut his page down. Only person I knew about that was Tyson because Tyson was the only one that I talked to about Larry having my page shut down that day. His plan is to blame Dana for it. But see how effed up when he tried to say Dana was stealing money from the defense fund and he forgot Hollywood already confirmed that Dana was not stealing the money. OK, stop. So if Hollywood already confirmed that. How do it get to that Dana and Levi is stealing money now. So the only person, but I was talking to Hollywood at that time was Kevin Terrell. So it goes to say, so now he about to blame Dana for it. Watch his lives on some of that sugar, honey, iced tea. He be telling on himself. Angelo don't know he did it. He used Angelo thinking he will get money from him 
in the future by acting like he his friend. Ask that nigga why he don't come back to the shot. Well, at that time, that's when I said Larry, Larry won't come back to the shot. And I was talking to DJ personally. That's how I know Carl is DJ. That's why I never said nothing about it. Because at that time, I mean, it's not my business. Let's go here. A after all of them met Robert, right? And Robert told everybody not to speak to this guy. And if you got his number, erase it. Dr. Roger said she grown. She, she don't listen to R. Kelly. This is what's going on. Righty, 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 right. Right? So check this out. You can read it, Lisa Kelly. To you and Cassandra Kelly, I need you both to block Dana J. I never did nothing to Lisa. So why block me? I ain't never do nothing to nobody. But Omar Harris, you you just stay right there. Don't go nowhere. Okay. I find on Twitter, whoever level up again 2020 was said, report this video account. It's time for him to shut up. I'm sick of these frauds. They are hurting Kells and crying wolf and sneaking with ops. This only could be one person that talked like that, which is Don, posing as to be a woman under the name Level Up Again. Because he done said the same thing about four times on four different platforms. That's all you got to do is sit back and watch how people talk. And here's and here you go. You see Spiller T laughing. Queen CMB said done. It's cool. We're gonna go here. This when I was in standing in the gap for Kells. Just so just so people can understand just how real I am. Dottie said Shabazz speaks on the documentary, telling everything I have said. Hashtag stay woke. Underneath it says, Dottie put, Dana J is team truth. I'm convinced. Live this AM. Right? Big Marshall put lies. Gucci put, Dottie now and always been team truth. This is what Dana, this is what I said. No disrespect to no one. But please don't add me back to this effing group. Too many effing snakes in this B, and I don't F with snakes. Dana out. One thing about it, I've never been anything but me from day one. Now, we go back to this clown. He said, it looks like the real, but it's not. Hashtag Donna Gay. Then he put points down to the defense fund. I do believe that's the same defense fund, right? That always been real from day one. Hey, I'm Pottle. This the same defense fund that always been real from day one. So what is this dummy talking about? That's why I say people follow stupid people instead of following the truth. Now here, now Doug come right back and hit you with it. This is real. This is what you should see at the real donation page. I am happy to have cleared this up for you. Okay. So I'm going to look at some of your comments. Hold on. Uh, G Joy said, Nikki, she one of the slow ones that will do whatever she's told to do. I don't trust her word either. Her vibe sucks. I don't know who y'all talking about. Hey, Momo. And Huff, I mean, I know she does. Okay. No Omar recording, don't. But be careful. They can be altered. Yeah. Uh, Nikki said, there is a big old vanilla onion. All these damn layers. Right. Hey, Miss Hot Pink. Hey, Miss Hot Pink. Remember that? Queen B said, who is the right who is the right in the circle to make sure Mr. Kelly's dilemma is being communicated properly and the right information is being presented to the true supporters from inside? You wait right there, Queen B, because I'm gonna break all that down. I told you, I'm pissed now. 
I don't care about having associates. I mean, I really don't know these people anyway. Oh, hey, Georgia girl. All right. So let's get back to it. Because, cause, cause, I mean, we talking about folks, they ain't the slow folks over there. I know they see us and I don't give a... Okay, cool. So here's the bootleg cash app from Wells Fargo Bank that she tried to say that Rob told her to set up. Nah, nah. Don't put dollar for the king. Because and because that's all it's going to do is try to come back this way. So when I heard people saying that Dana had that, no. Melissa Alexander had it. And from what I was told yesterday, it was confirmed that Melissa Alexander is Lisa Kelly. Hmm. Whatever. Y'all remember this? The million dollar initiative that Don Russell put up? And he said, while Rob locked up, you will be receiving... Um, you will you will be receiving signed autograph stuff from, from from a Robert how how I'm gonna go here the goal a million dollars freedom and rights justice for R Kelly right all of this gonna be investigated and and, and I don't care who don't like it but I heard somebody had an attitude about it but i don't care now look contact information address private phone 573-990-1710 i'm so real about it that i'll do this After the tone, and Google Voice will try to Not available. Please leave a message mm. the tone. Now watch this. The funny part is the number the number comes from Missouri. Okay. So now let's go here. If this was set up by Rob, why wouldn't the number come from Chicago? Then, then let's go here. Because y'all know I'm very particular. If this was a legit thing, if this was a legit project by the Kelly family, then why is the address private? The birthday or organization funding date, why is that private? Why is the emails private? Make this make sense. What none of this authorized by no attorney, right? Now, let's go here. This is Lisa or Renee Kelly and whichever one. And she said, Shaborn, what's Dana's real name? Why everybody want to know me and Levi's real name? And Shaborn said, hey, I'm not getting involved in this mess. I don't trust anyone at this point. And regardless of how I feel about his B.A., I will not partake in a rape law. Rob is in jail and that goes against my very principle about why I fight. So please leave me out of this. Wish you well, wish you all well and exposing his A. <laughs> that right there, she pretty much telling you like, have fun with it. Cause he's going to come back at it and expose y'all. So she turns around and say, I have no idea what you're talking about. But okay, I'm making sure he keeps my name out of his mouth. No problem. 
So what are you going to do? Run back and tell uh, uh, Sean Harris and and everybody that I'm speaking the truth and your name is coming up because you're at the focal point of it? At the end of the day, I have integrity. I walk in integrity. So I don't have to defend every lie but that come about me, but I am going to defend my name. So let's finish. Here we go again. A whole nother lie. Because people clearing themselves up. Dr. Rogers said on a live that one of the PayPal links had the following name, Clara Smith. They were told that they were told that she is Demetrius' sister. Dana J is working with Demetrius. Here's all the lies. And I stand with R. Kelly, whoever this is, this is along with Pretty in Pink and Foot Kells, ran with it and posted it in every group. And all of that's a lie because Demetrius don't have a sister named Clara. Let's go here. This is why Lisa got mad because I said, this Kelly's for justice. Who is it orchestrated by? Who authorized this? How can Greenberg authorize this when he can't collect nothing in Chicago? Make that make sense. But then something catches my eye. Kelly's for justice. Stand, stand for truth. Stand for justice. I like that. But why is the rainbow flag right here? Which gives me pretense that you could be I'm not saying that you are or were, but y'all could have been working with me two times up. And this is the logo colors of change. I told you I'm not holding nothing back today and I'm going to put it out there. Here we go. Miss Ladybug, everyone. Now you can go here and donate. So Kales can get everything he needs to win this case. Those other accounts, the ones did that dollar for the king and that defense fund money, it is all a fraud and they still a fraud. Wait a minute. Who am I supposed to believe? Doug Anton or Lisa and Cassandra? And you can't ask me that because Lisa and Cassandra got the met, but they got to meet Rob on my dime. So at the end of the day, I'm going to believe Doug Anton. So Miss Ladybug was part of the whole scheme, scam and everything. That's why I laugh at a lot of people. The flyer that really pissed everybody off. The best flyer that you've seen t t today. Now, here's the groups that I was in. Facebook King of R&B. And I'm going to go back and... And I'm going to go back and uh, re resurrect these pages on Facebook. Hashtag Team King Kells. Hashtag, of, uh, uh, hashtag Original Happy People. That was on Twitter. You see it. And you see my Facebook, Dana Demand J. And <laughs> Dana Demand J, man, I missed that Instagram right there. That just made me think about something. Jesus Christ. So, no, before I get there, and before I get there, because that's going to be a little lengthy, and before I get there, I'm going to go here. Before I get there, I'm going to go here. Uh, Byron Dennis, or Dennis Byron. I knew when I go back and listen to my Recordings. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ho, 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 ho. Sandra J said, why not just this man lawyer handle his case instead of everyone fighting over his money and for views? All this as is crazy. Sandra, I'm not fighting for his case. I'm fighting for him to be vindicated. I'm damn sure I ain't fighting for his money because I don't want none of it. 
I'm damn sure not fighting for for a position. Why should I? I don't need a position. I got a career. So that don't come to me like that. But like I was saying, Byron Dennis, Dennis Byron. I never understood. I never understood. Hey, Callie. Hey, Sunshine. I never understood how you and Sean were so close when you came over and dapped everybody up. And when I asked you for an interview, I seen out of my peripheral, Sean did like this, and you just told me something to blow me off. I understand now how this all came about. Now I'm understanding the whole connection with Choke No Joke. I'm going to keep it real with you. Levi might have thought he brought Choke into this, but Levi was just the introduction into this. But Choke was already around in this. And Dennis Byron, you said to me that you believe Robert was guilty at one point, and so did Choke. He mentioned that and before too. But then as I listened to my recordings, right? When I when I recorded one of Larry Lives. Something came out that made me go, oh. So then I put the New York situation together. I think the people need to hear this. That's what it was. I encountered her. Uh, we had already watched the, the videos with uh, with Tim. We had already watched the videos with um, with other people. We had already watched all the videos. So. My girl already knew who she was, and she did not want me on the phone talking to her because she had a reputation at the time of talking to niggas' husbands and shit like that. So my conversation with Cass Jones is if you got a problem and done and all of them people is bugging you and you worried and you get ran off the road, is go to the police. And I ain't the police, and I'm not going to be on the phone hours talking about all of this shit. Okay. Now, so far as Blockbender, let me address that because it's going to get ugly. Apparently, what I told him. What are you? What are you? What are you talking about? Apparently, what I told him, he went back and told her verbatim, word for word. I did tell him. I did tell him. I don't be on the phone just sitting around pillow talking with motherfuckers talking about fucking them, sex, none of that shit, meeting them, coming out here. I don't do that. You know what I mean? So every time she talked to me, I told her to go to the motherfucking police. So block bender. Me and Block's on the phone. We talking to each other. I get on the phone like a real nigga. And I call him and I said, hey, man, listen, did you not see her, what she did to Don? Did you not see what she did to Tim? You know what I mean? Did you not see yep. what the fuck Angelo was going through? You don't want to be on the phone talking to her. Ain't you married this and that? Don't be on the phone pillow talking with her. She like the motherfucking Black Widow. I guess the nigga went back and told her what I said. So... I don't give a fuck, nigga. I did what I was supposed to do. You the one keep gossiping with these bitches on the phone? The fuck they got to do with me? I don't care if you talk to Cass or not. I just thought that since me and you was cool, that I was going to fucking call you and tell you. You know what I mean? That that motherfucker's the Black Widow, and she probably recording your ass, and you're going to pay for it later. You know what I mean? Ain't no, nobody fucking with me, TT. I'm solid. I'm always solid. I'm always solid. Like, y'all, you can run on all, any of them niggas' channel. Any of them motherfuckers' channel. But only motherfuckers that ain't solid is them. You know what I mean? It's them. You know what I mean? She can say whatever she want to say, but Angelo, this and that back for, I don't know. I wasn't there for that. I was not there for that. You know what I mean? But every time that he told me this and that, he was trying to avoid her. When when she did what the fuck she, whatever, whatever situation me and her had, she went handle her business. And after that, I almost rarely never talk to her. Now for her coming out in this onslaught, Facts, or going on, no, it ain't getting messy. It's called chess. That's what it's called. It's called chess. Don't come tell me your problems. Are you scared of done and all of this bullshit? I don't know done. Oh, hold on, baby. Come on. Come on. Oh, ask your mother. What do you want me to do? Pop gummies. Some what now? 
Come here and tell everybody, hey, I'm being rude. You call me while I'm mad. Come on. Tell everybody, hey. Hey. <laughs> Give me a second. Come on. Straight up. I never did anything but tried to help you. That's all I ever did. You know what I mean? I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear it. Like, whatever you trying to accomplish, you ain't going to get it from here. Like, like whatever. I, I, you did what I needed you to do. I don't care. Like, I don't. I, don't, I ain't going to be in the middle of that shit. I personally didn't give a fuck if you was talking to Block or not. I was trying to look out for him. He's the motherfucker that's married with a wife and got shit to lose and a family and kids, this and that. I didn't want him to get caught up in your bullshit. He's still almost, he's still caught up in the shit. What the fuck? You would think like, damn, I'm telling this nigga like, hey man, look, don't be pillow talking with these hoes. The fuck you talking? Excuse my language, but I'm saying that's how niggas talk on the phone. That's how niggas talk. All niggas do that. Like, what? Don't be pillow talking, bro. Like, don't be motherfucking, don't get sucked into that shit. And I told him that. He goes back and tell her what I said verbatim. I find out today on another platform. They don't got nothing to do with me. I'm talking about Block Bender. Hey, Queen. I ain't trying to hear that shit. You know what I mean? I did what I was supposed to do. Pay attention to the phone call. Watch Hello? this. Hello? Yo. What up? All right, so let's roll. So, okay, I know what it is. So she dropped the audio saying with, 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 uh, where her saying something, she got to play doctor or something. She cut and paste it, whatever. And it said uh, she got to lay on the couch. And I said, oh, well, my, I'm going to lay between your legs or something like that. And then she cut it off, right? So she copied and pasted the, 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 the uh, back and forward uh, talks that I needed to have with her to get her to go down there and cooperate against, you know, these, these people to tell her truth, to do what she, was, what she planned to do. Right. So, Al, after she did it, she came from Atlanta. After she went to seeing these people and, and and told on her king. Right. And told on uh, Don. Right. Why she had, why she start having to call you? <laughs> I ain't talked to her no more, did I? She on there talking about me and her was talking and everything. I didn't talk to her no more. Well, Every time she did not come through with something she pumped herself up Facts, Prima Donna. Did I ever rant to her after that when she wouldn't do Tasha K? What'd I do? Cut off. Right. Her job was to do number intel. So, do she got a potty mouth? Of course, she wrote Daddy's Little Freak. So, she always tried to trick you up to chew a sex conversation. That's a gift. That's a gift. I can give you 50 guys right now on this online that can tell you the same conversation that she had with everybody. And I'm one of them. Everybody, including her boss and Hip Hop Weekly. I'm going to add this number real soon, too. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. tell you the same Listen. conversation that she had with everybody. Everybody, including her boss and Hip Hop Weekly. Her boss at Hip Hop Weekly. It's ironic that Cash Jones, Cash Howard, Choke No Joke, Sylvia, and at one point Hollywood Next until her and Hollywood got into it, all work for Dennis Byron at Hip Hop Weekly. And who's over Dennis Byron's stretch? 
which is one of my homies from from my 92Q radio station in Baltimore. But Stretch don't know they acting like this out here. So make this make sense. Cash Jones, Cash Howard, Sylvia, Choke, Hollywood Next, and then we're going to take Hollywood Next out because a lot of y'all don't know what the fuck happened in between Dennis Byron and Hollywood Next. But let's be for real. All of them are sexual people. Think about it. And before Hollywood Next got married, she was real sexual. And, and it wasn't nothing wrong with that because she did what she did. And I'm not saying that she did nothing, you know, terrible because I didn't see nothing no different than from what any female would do. I ain't seen none of them do nothing that terrible, but they are all sexual. So let's keep that shit a buck. At the end of the day, how the fuck you got Sylvia, Cash Jones, Cash Howard, and Choke No Joke all up under your umbrella? You had Hollywood under your umbrella until she wanted to fight you. Now, that's not my story to tell. I don't know. I just know that she was pissed about it. And this happened in New York. Why all of us was cool. I'm not going to lie about nothing. But Dennis Byron also was very cool with Sean Hurst. Now watch where I'm going with this. Don Russell appears on a platform way before all this. Pay attention. A lot of those guys. Yeah, I, I a lot of, a lot of, what you gotta realize, though, a lot of those guys can't talk because they are already under the gag order because they're involved with the case. So a certain people that was around Rob, like Kip was, who can't give you any insight because he's under a court order. To- Hollywood said that's incorrect. Dana, Hip Hop Inquirer is different with Hip Hip, hip Hop Weekly. No Hip Hop Inquirer. I don't know which one is the parent company, but both of them are pairs together. I do know that for sure. But let's finish. Be silent. Kip can't do that. Okay. Uh, uh, James Mason can't do that. Fucking Will Eady can't do that. Rock can't do that. None of those guys because they are already involved with the indictment, so they can't. You can't. They can't get on the phone and talk to you about details surrounding the case because they were with Rob throughout the time of most of these allegations. We don't want to talk about basically the cases that we want to talk about the clown that always trying to distract everybody. And my thing is about the clown is if we talk about the enterprise, he may seem like he stop. We don't want to talk about the cases because you can't read and you don't know about the cases. We want to talk about the clown. Okay. I'll be the clown, but listen to how the clowns, Put their foot in their mouth. Watch this. He was down with the enterprise. Why the fuck we ain't got him? Huh? Why the fuck they ain't right. got the clown, Donna Gay? Why they ain't got him? Well, you know, he, he always he, talking about. He see, he always talking about he been around and this, that, and the other, and you know, this, that, and the other, you know, this person, that person, and he got this to set by free, and he got all this and all that. Why the fuck they ain't got him? Why they ain't got him? Why is this that? Lie number one I never said I have what it take to set Rob free. Don Russell said that on his very first time hopping on and hopping on YouTube, which happens to be. On the person, Hollywood Next, who's in the chat, it was her page. Do y'all remember that? Because right after he got off, I came on and went crazy on that page. But let's finish. Let's listen. Let's listen to Fed O'Reilly's talk. I've told y'all, the whole network is deeper than what most people think, but it's right in your face. Same up there with... 
uh, the people he's saying, they put him and Will E together. No disrespect to Will E, but they come out with a thing with, 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 with Donna and... Watch, I'm gonna stop that. Because at that time, Hollywood is the one that put me and Will E together because somebody gave her the intel. At that time, Tyson was trying to be close to Hollywood. That's when he was laying on Denise's floor jerking off to her voice. So at the end of the day, now you see why he won't ref why he won't say her name. Because at that time, he had her on audios. And yeah, <laughs> y'all know. Let's go. And and, and we were eating supposed to be testifying against Rob or going against Rob shit like that. Why is this shit like that coming out? Can you explain that? Well, if you notice, he only attacks people through his his uh, YouTube. He only attacks people through YouTube. And if you go read the privacy policies and everything on YouTube, which people don't do that when they put up these pages, they strictly say for one thing, this is for pure entertainment. So as long as he's letting you guys know that he's an actor, I never said you had interaction with Will Eady. When you put up the picture that somebody sent you and said that me and Will Eady was gay and all that, when you put that picture up and you said that me and Will Eady and was part of the takedown back before you found out of the truth, that's what I'm talking about. I ain't say you and Will Eady talk. Uh-uh. So would you teach that there? Tell him to take down actor. Challenge him to take down actor off of his his uh, 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 his YouTube channel and put down something like moderator or something like that uh, or journalist or whatever. I mean, he's he's depicting the mm -hmm. recite the law. Let's say something. Let's say he's a, he's a um, informant. Well, I don't know informer. Whatever he wants to call himself outside of actor. So when you put actor down. That means you're acting. And the privacy policies in terms of use and service of YouTube allow a motherfucker to go in there and completely act out something that can be fiction or nonfiction. That's a total lie. Because if that was the case, this channel would have never got struck when I put up the tap dough chicken shucking person. When all of your cr cronies attack me and attack my channel. So that's a lie. So, so... Let's go here, because we're going to go there today. And I'm going to keep it real. We're going to go there today. Don, the informant, let's go here. When have you ever known the feds to keep a plea deal on a table more than, more than six months, unless the person is working? His plea, to, his plea deal been in effect almost three years now. That, 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 that don't seem odd to you? And now he's going to say, oh, the informant Dana. The informant? Where? Where? Can you locate anywhere, any paperwork that I'm being an informant against anybody? I've never wore a wire and never will. I've never sabotaged nobody and never will. But wait, the new word of the day is distractor. Now the feds is using me as a distractor. Nobody, nobody, I'm going to exploit all of y'all. The feds is using Dabowski, Kevin Terrell, Don, well, well no, not Don, uh, uh, one Papoose. They are distractors. As long as they think they can keep people like me distracted, that I won't bust up their operation. So that way Rob can walk free. And I'm not saying I'm doing it by myself. This is not a one-man job. I'm just going to put the truth out there. And if anybody else got any truth to go with it, then, hey, do it that way. But I don't believe in bullshitting people. I've never been that way. I never will. I will be quiet for a while. But then when I put it out there, all hell breaking news. And I ain't say loose. I said breaking news. So let's go here. Let's finish. So that's the whole reason why he's using YouTube as a platform. But the other side is if he's being, being, and I don't know this for a fact. I don't know that he's a fact, of, uh, an informant for, I'm sorry, a, a, a disruptor. He wouldn't be an informant. 
Because he's not informing them anything. He's disrupting shit. It's a different thing if you're getting intel and you're taking it back to him secretly. He's just disrupting shit. So what am I disrupting? If we all fighting and for Robert, what am I di disrupting if I'm putting the truth out there? You can't attach scam to me. And the reason why I don't worry about it is because I've never owned that. I've never did that. My name, whenever you run my name, it's going to come back squeaky clean. Now, as a juvenile, I, I might have hit you with some shit. And I ain't talking about scamming. I'm, I'm talking about I might have shot you. But as an adult with kids, you can never attach me to nothing. Oh, Dana J scam dollar for the king. Okay, man, Hollywood fought for 13 months over that. So now we see that Don is posting people and to be and distractors and this and this. Now I'm going to go there. Man, Hollywood next fought for 13 months. And like I said, I don't got no beef with Hollywood next. But we fought for 13 months about that. The reason why Levi is going so hard at Hollywood next is this right here. Levi never forgot what she did about the defense fund. And because that was to help Robert, Levi took it personal. When Doug said, okay, let's let it go. Levi said, oh no, that's my cousin. If Hollywood next, and she in the chat, I texted her the other day and was like, yo, don't even mention Levi no more. And she said, Dana, get out of it. That's between me and Levi. I'm out of it. I went to Levi. I said, Levi, yo, don't mention her. And Levi said, look, I ain't going to mention her, but I did warn her. And if she say my name again, you stay out of it. I can only do what I can do. When you have two grown people that's going to clash, I got to stay out of it now because I went to both of them. I tried to keep the peace. I went to both of them. So I ain't going to lie. When this came up, it kind of puzzled me. When this came up, I was like, why am I in a goddamn picture with scamming going on? But then I looked at the overall picture. I said, I don't know who these two is. This Levi, this Bubba, this Dottie, this Sylvia, this Lisa, I mean, this Cassandra, this Lisa, and this me. And I'm like, what the hell did I scam? Well, let's go here. I was one of the ones that said, no. I'm not going along with the cash app. Keith told me to send everything to the MDC. And when Hollywood called me, I told her the same thing. And Hollywood said, yo, they sending me stuff. I think it's from the camp, this and this. I said, no, no, no. Okay. Hollywood said she screenshotted that and from Debo thumbnail. Okay, cool. But I told Hollywood, I said, no, no. Keith said, now here's where I break the whole situation at. Some people was joking, talking about, yo, people getting blocked and from R. Kelly joint. Now I'm about to break y'all down with something that none of y'all know. This cash app, Joy needed money, all of a sudden happened Friday, right? Thursday or Friday, one of them two days, right? Pay attention to where I'm going with this. Hold on. JJ. You wanted to talk to me about something? Yeah. Yeah, give me like 30 minutes. I'm going to call you back, boo-boo. No, stay up. No. I said stay up, punk. No. Stay up. I'm going to call you back in 30 minutes. Bye. All right, so, so pay attention to where I'm going with this. The R. Kelly need money cash app shit. Came out Thursday or Friday, right? Sean Harris went to go meet Robert Tuesday or Wednesday. 
Why is it that every time Sean Harris go to meet Robert, there's always some bullshit that happens after? Make it make sense. Sean Harris went to go see him be once before. Guess what? Letters went to choke. Sean Harris went to go see him again. Guess what? All of a sudden, Dabowski got a bootleg ass motherfucking and recording. Now check it. This is why I said anybody that vouch for Glenda is bullshit. Glenda vouching saying, oh, it's real, it's real. And it's not even a real live call from a jail. Then she have the same dude to call me. No, I'm sorry. Then she had the same dude on there acting like R. Kelly, which Dabowski had that same dude call me and harass me on the phone. While I was live. The problem of the story is this. Why is Sean Hurst involved with what's going on with R. Kelly and his funds when he have a lawyer? Momo, that's a question that, that, that I can't answer. I don't know. But let's go here. <clears throat> let's go here. Get, get, I'm going to go here with it. Because some people told me I was lying. Now, when R. Kelly... When the verdict came down, Sean Harris told his wife to tell Hollywood next not to be sitting and talking to me because I'm the reason why Rob got a guilty verdict. But then he turned around and tell Keith is because I said I was going to fuck his wife. Now, I made sure everybody is watching his live. Because when I said... There's no reason why Sean Hurst should be anywhere around Robert because of inefficient, I'm an insufficient counsel. Everybody telling me Sean Hurst a clean dude. I said, I don't have no problem with him, but evidently got a problem with me. Even after we supposed to have talked, he still got a problem. So my question is, so look and wait. So that way, Y'all won't think I'm lying. Hold on. Let, let me wait for her joint to pop up. B because here, here you go. That is true. The P.I. wife actually said it. Facts. So he tell Keith it's because I said I was going to fuck his wife. I told Keith he shouldn't be around. Keith tell me, well, Dana, why? I said they all came from DJ Tyson Page. Everybody telling me, well, Dana, you don't got no proof on it. Well, this is Sean Harris, right? Okay. So, for the people that know, they know I come bearing arms. This is from 2019. This is when, when me and Larry was at the height of the argument about the defense fund. Thank you, Prima. Here we go. The truth come out. Same P.I. Trent and others used to investigate the defense fund. Then came back to investigate what? Facts. So wait. This is Blockbender channel. Blockbender said, plain and simple, that Sean Harris was one of his guys. Sean Harris said, he do not know Blockbender or Don Russell, right? So Sean Hurst's group name is MA1 Investigations, right? So at MA1 Investigations, it says, we want to thank Larry for the information provided tonight. We need to chat further. Okay. So you and Larry need, it, need, need to chat further. And Larry actually told y'all, they ain't give him nothing. So we scroll over to the Bosky gun page. Oh, yeah. 
They always say, go where the bones are buried. Are buried. So let's go here. You got Miss Enterprise and everybody on here, right? Scroll down. And Michelle Davis, you, you got everybody. But it was like Dana always infatuated and with Don Russell this and this. Okay. Scroll down a little bit to the third one from the bottom. Look what it say. Sharon, Sharon Monet. Okay. Ain't that Ain't that uh ain't that uh 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 Sean Hurst's wife? Anybody that's in these chats as as a moderator should not be involved with Robert Sylvester Kelly case. Anybody. So we got Sharon Monet, and she said, at Molly Harris, he is allowed to make calls. He is only there because of the judge. BOP has no authority over him. Stop. You coming on here discussing Robert Sylvester Kelly Cage, I mean, case from what you are being told from the inside by your husband. So your husband is going in there talking to Robert and then coming back telling you and you on the internet talking. That's why you either one or two things jumped off the internet or you are under a different page. And then Molly Hurst, a.k.a. anointed something, says, as Sharon Monet, I'm a former deputy clerk of court and believe me, it can. Wait a minute. It gets better. We're going to scroll over. Molly Hearn said, at D to Diva Wilson, I knew it. That's why they blamed DJ and tried to get him arrested. Be glad when Block's investigation is done. Okay. When Block said he doing an investigation on a defense fund, which was three years ago. What popped up? MA1 investigation. So you can't tell me you do not know fucking Blockbender. And Sylvia was the one that told Block that I was stealing because she took me to the car dealership. And every which way y'all tried to turn, that shit unraveled. That shit unraveled. So there you go. Now y'all know why Levi and Hollywood next going back and forth now. Y'all know who Blockbender is affiliated with now. And I'm going to keep the shit a buck. Now who going to check me? And Blockbender is complicit with Dabowski, DJ, all of them. So here's my question. How are you going to investigate the defense fund and then going to turn around and try to be a PI for him. Now, let's go here. Let's talk real live shit. They was complaining. Oh, Robert don't have enough money to get the people to New York to testify for him. I said, yo, I can get four people right now that's within the vicinity that can get here to testify. The PI told me, nah, never mind, and we good, and we got it. I said, do you, do, do you need me to get on the phone and smooth over the situation in between you and Kip? And Kip can come testify for Robert. Nah, man, that's cool. Nah, 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 and we got it. So wait, y'all talking about, oh, Robert only got five people. No, Sean Harris only called six people. And then out, out of the six, one person told him, don't fucking call him back no more because he called trying to be aggressive. Now, if I'm lying, I dare somebody come public and say I'm lying. I will get all those people on the fucking phone. And then I'm going to get them on my live. Ineffective counsel. 
Now, did Canik know all this? I don't know. That's none of my business. At the end of the day, it's certain shit that I would talk about, certain shit I can't talk about. And the shit I can't talk about is what Canik and them did. That's their, that's their shit. I don't know what they did. I just know Canik was prepared. He went in there and fought with, and fought with what he had. Sean Hurst and Sylvia and the rest of them persuaded Canik to only do certain stuff. To only use certain and material from certain people. Now, let's go here. R. Kelly Mail. When a nigga come public and tell me. And what's up, Leisha? When a nigga come public and tell me, oh, you wrote R. Kelly a letter in August. And, and I see the contents of it. And I tell you, you're a liar. I mean that because I didn't write him in August. I, I, I said it. I wrote him in July and I wrote him in September. But he said I wrote him in August. So I put that in the back of my head because a lot of people, it went over their head. That's all you got to do is go back and look at the video that he jumped out there for Sylvia with. And I understand that all, too, because I'm going to break all that down. And if Hollywood Next is still here, she can attest. The first day I walked up there, Hollywood Next was at the front. And the first thing the deputy said is, Dantes Jackson, oh, we've been waiting on you. What, what the hell are you waiting on me for? Because Sean Hurst, when he said, should I treat you as friend or foe? And then Sylvia talking about, oh, they're going to jump on me. That's how that whole block list came about. But let's move that to the side. Let's talk about these emails and this mail. So I put that to the side. Then Sharon Wimbush came out and said, Sean Hurst, uh, uh, I guess Robert told him to read my mail. And da, 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 da. I said, oh, I get it. The only way a person can redirect a BOP email is if they have a BOP registration. Think about it. If you're a private investigator, that's all you got to say is I'm investigating for a client. And they give you your own and they and they will give you the jail will give you your own BOP registration along after asking that client. OK. Is he investigated? You say yes. They will have control of that person's email system. So make this make sense. And this might help Hollywood here. Like, like I said, I'm totally innocent in this, but y'all gonna stop playing with me today. Hollywood came out and said, I got a recording. On Sean, on a PI, because she ain't say his name. And she said, on a PI and his wife. Immediately, shit start turning. Hollywood did hit me and said, Dana, look at this email. R. Kelly emailed me. I looked at it. I said, oh. Check this out. Then she called me on her break and said, yo, I got some folks going on, yada, yada, yada. I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to keep clear. Those were her words. I said, stay out the bullshit. She let me hear something. I said, oh, okay. And she said, I got to go. I said, all right. From that point, all this stuff stopped going on. Robin need money. Robin need money. She didn't know, but I knew that the PI went to go meet Robert either that two, either last Tuesday or Wednesday. They don't know how I knew, but I knew. And after he met with Robert, all of a sudden, here come these emails. Watch this. 
a true core links, a true core links link. Once you are blocked, you cannot be added directly like that. They have to send you another invite and you have 10 days to accept it. So if somebody can just add you back to core links after they blocked you, that's not a real core links joint. So Dana, what part don't you understand? They ain't going to send it to me because they know I'm going to air their ass out. So they thinking, oh, we can send it to Hollywood. She'll be in our corner. I don't got nothing to do with that. Just like Levi don't have nothing to do with none of them. So when I heard all that going on, I said, I got to say something. Levi don't have nothing to do with Lisa, Cassandra, Don, none of them. And you know I damn sure don't. So here's the problem. You got people that's boxed in here, that's boxed in here, that's boxed in here. Their whole, their, their whole plan was to make people run into each other like crash dummies to take away from the shit that they really doing. Ask this question. And I'm going to put it out there and y'all motherfuckers know exactly who the fuck I'm talking to. Excuse me, pastors, for cussing. That's watching this. But I got to say this. If Doug was so much of a bad motherfucking person, why y'all just called Doug two weeks ago and asked him, can he re... Can, oh, oh, can Doug come and replace Miss Bojean? Why are y'all out there looking for people to try to replace Bojean? Why all of a sudden now y'all trying to put out a song just so y'all can help build Rob's defense team? Miss Bojean don't need no fucking help. And when Doug told y'all, look, I'm not going no further. I'm not talking no further. Get Rob on the phone. Y'all calls stop to Doug Anton's office. Now, let's go here. And then I'm going to end this shit. Felicia, whoever your name is, I'm about to get it to you right now. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to get it to you. Get it for you right now. Felicia Tucker, you said your brother gave you a screenshot from when Rob wrote him, right? Then you said his name was Bobby. I got a question. You made it seem like it's Bobby from the inner circle, right? It's Bobby from the brotherhood. That's what you made it seem like, right? So I challenge you, Felicia Tucker, what is Bobby's real name? Now watch this. I know for a fact Bobby ain't never reach out to you. And I'm going to tell you why. Because Bobby don't like talking to people after what Sylvia tried to put him in. So Bobby ain't going to talk to nobody on the internet. Second of all, what is his real name? It's, because his first name is not Bobby. Make that make sense, Felicia. And for a fact, Sean Harris, see, I can really go deep with this. I'm just going to say this. People don't want real people to see Robert. And Sean Hurst is putting out the people that Robert don't want to see nobody just so he can be the voice in Robert's ear and nobody else. I'm going to keep that a buck. Now tell me I'm wrong. Now this is what they're going to do. They gonna run and tell Keith, oh, Dana trying to divide us. Dana starting shit. No. What y'all motherfuckers doing in the background is affecting motherfuckers that's trying to help Rob in the forefront. Now, Kip is on tour right now with Mary J. Now, guess what? I ain't gonna sit here and tell you I talk to Mary J every day. But Mary J came out and said, when I talked to Kip yesterday at work, 
No, I'm sorry. Friday morning at work, Mary J said, I've been watching. There's too many scamming going on. I will put money in Robert's hand myself. I know Robert myself. And then she said, I will go pay Doug Anton a visit this week to find out exactly what's going on. And then she said, Dana, you keep going. And I said, well, Mary, you know, I, 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 look. This shit get thick. You keep going. And then she gave Kip back the phone. Kip was like, bro, you got the juice. So somebody proved me wrong. Like I said, if y'all prove me wrong, I shut the fuck up and I close my page down. But that's ineffective counsel. Because Sean Hurst was in mingling with Canick and Scala. But his wife, along with him, was on these YouTube streets and mingling with people that was harassing the federal witnesses. I'm not going to call them accusers. I'm going to say the federal witnesses. Thank you, Ms. LaVerro. That's, in fact, that's ineffective counsel. Then I'm going to go here. Where Joy live at? How y'all get $3,100? When it's $2,400 a month? Joy don't live in no regular shit. She don't live in no mid-grade. She smoked that good good. She live in a good good. It's $2,400 a month. Ask me how I know. So when Glenda talking about he don't talk to no joy and didn't, I don't have to run them down that court. I don't have to follow them to, oh, the way they're going to eat it and then say, oh, I'll pay for y'all food like I'm a groupie. I don't have to do that. If I know you, I know you. If I don't, I don't. But I will ask this. You bought Asriel food, right? You ran to Asriel, right? Well, remember this? Take the bus. We on the bus. We on the party bus. I see you. You see him? They coming hey, on out. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, we live. Go live. Yeah, we live now. We're here. Hey, come on, here. Come on They coming out the bus. We going back here studio. This is where they came and got him out of. Yeah, this is where Angelo this told his lies at. This is where, this where Don Russell stood out of. Listen, we off the bus. Yeah, we off the bus. We right here by KL Studio. This where they came. Hey, DJ. Yeah. We finna uh, do a reenactment. So people won't try to say that's not Glenda. This ain't Glenda in white. This, this ain't Big Bird. That's not Big Bird. That's not Big Bird right there. That's not Big Bird. Let's finish. Yeah, you got a video this year. Watch we got survivors. Right. Right here. Come on, get the rock. We got survivors. I'm gonna put my shades right on. Right. And that's when Glenda and them start throwing rocks at the studio after Rob has been gone. And that's why the studio people charge Robert for the damages. Watch this. Pay attention to what Slobowski said. Even if it's a lie, you said it. You said it. So that makes it valid. And you said it on record. And I got it. Listen to what he say. Don Russell told me we can't be here. 
Pay attention. Y'all hey, hey. can't be here right now. Hey. Y'all Russell told me to tell y'all, y'all can't be here. Joy. We're here with you. Hey, look. It's Hold on. Sale. Let's go look for Joy. Let's go look for Israel. Israel. Take your little pussy ass home. Hold on. Let's look for Israel. Come on. Hey, look. No, look. Hey, Jay, turn it back. Hey, look. Hey, look. Hey, make sure you get this. Yeah, you got the look back. DJ, get this. We're looking for Israel. We're going to throw rocks. We're looking for Israel. Well, we know ain't no bad in there. Video, video. We know ain't no bad in there. I know my daughter's there. Hold on, wait. Wait. They throwing rocks at the window. Watch this. We know ain't no bad in there. Video, video. We know ain't nobody there. I know my daughter's ass. My daughter's ass. I know my daughter's in there. Israel, I know you in there. There she go. There she go. I think she up there. I think Israel up there. I think Israel. You see her up there. I know my daughter's in there. So you have all the people there. You got K Baby, all of them up there throwing rocks at a building that Robert is no longer occupied in. Which means Robert got extra stuff added on to him. But that's cool. So when people talk about stuff that they don't know, just know I got it all. And then on top of that, I heard somebody say, oh, oh, well, Dana called in the DJ live and tried to take over. Okay, listen to this. Here we go. DJ, mean bed bug, called Doug Anton because I was on his ass. And said, Dana's in trouble. But you know what? Don't listen to me. Listen to the recording. Ricky's and Adam. 12 in the morning. Oh, wow. Well, you listen. It's 1 12 in the morning. Oh, wow. Well, you should have been sleep then, brother. There are two men that are battling to prove who is right, who is wrong, who is a liar, who is the... Time out. And back this up a little bit. Because, see, what YTF over there said is that they never supported the defense fund, right? What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? And Kiki, do, do you love me? Can't even spell. She said RSK Defend Fund is Defense Fund. Facts. So let's pay attention. This ain't check, is this chess? Who is a liar? Who is the fraud? Who is the user? This is passionately gangster commentary. They are all stuck in the. You know why? Because today we just got in the mail a new package of Discovery from the government. Is that good or bad? I mean, Discovery is the government's evidence. And, uh, you know, I'm looking through it. Same, you know, I can't talk about the evidence, but a lot of the same stuff, you know? Yeah. They just did that. They just did that superseding indictment the other day. So. Right. Right. Yeah. It's a lot of work. But he's doing a lot of work. Steve's, you know, Steve's all over it. He's an animal. He's doing fantastic. That's good. That's so, good. That's good. Yeah. Michael, yeah. Michael, Tom, everybody's doing everything. Then we got the other case here uh, in New York court. So it's a process. But now this coronavirus, you know, the courthouse yeah. is closed at times. Mm -hmm. So it's uh it's putting a damper on the, it's putting a damper on some stuff, but yeah. it is what it is. You keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a good job. I saw someone said uh, they're going to send money to Steve. Yeah, uh, I told him. Yeah, Steve 
Steve won't accept it because the rules in uh, Illinois are different than they are in other states. You said it right there. Though. Yeah, I told him. And then when and then when Doug broke it down, look what he said. You send it right there. But I thought you never supported it. Let's finish. I put it on the screen for them. They know. They know from the last conversation. And again, I want to make it very clear. Nobody's asking for money. It's just if people want a place to send, they're welcome to donate. But nobody's asking for money. There you if have. people want, Doug has want to donate, that's the place to go. You heard him just that the defense fund is legit, people. Keep listening. Just said it right here, you guys. No one is asking. But if people want to send, that is the place right there to go. Yeah, I didn't I didn't I didn't know you'd be up this late, but uh Glad you tapped in on my live. Just giving them a little spill, you know, about some things because uh, uh, your homeboy he's upset because uh, he wanted want to make it seem like he's so uh, righteous for fighting for Mr. R. Kelly and like nobody else can fight for him. So uh, <coughs> why do you guys? Why do you? Why? Is, well, why did that become well, a problem? This is my concern. He's trying to do what he's doing. You're doing a great job. Where is doing he? Exactly. Why is everybody going to battle for who's doing a better job? Everybody right. just do hey. what you can do. I mean, it's good. I, I understand that, Miss uh, uh, Mr. Doug, and no, Tom, but. Uh, with Doug, you, I understand that, man, but you got to understand sometimes, man, you know, uh, jealousy is a disease out here. You know, envy is a disease out here. And, you know, when people just want to pick fights because uh, I call him Mr. Distraction now, uh, he been off the scene. He been striked from his page and now he came back. So he got to get his, his views up and all that stuff up, man. I mean, he does this stuff to himself, man. He put uh, his, you're calling me tomorrow, right? Yeah. All right, when you call me, I'm gonna get him on the phone, and the three of us are gonna call. Put an end to this crap. Yeah, that's fine. All right, that's fine. I, and also, another thing that allegedly Don Russell wrote that, but you're saying Dana wrote that thing? Man, Don ain't done it. That Dana put that up there to try to stare people man's man. That's why I say. I, I don't. I gotta tell you, man. I don't believe that's the truth. I, I gotta tell you, man. Dana's been nothing, listen, I'm not a cheerleader for anybody. You've been I understand. Hey, hey. This is why they get mad. Watch this. I'm yeah, fired. Yeah, fired. Yeah, yeah. When, when I when I tell you, uh, it's a lot of things that you don't see because you're not in these YouTube streets. And this man, right. listen to me. This man has done some things in 2019 that he can't deal with in 2020. Let me just give you an example. He gets on the YouTube and say he has a baby by Rashonda Landfair in 2019. Uh, by Santi McGee's daughter. Uh, he gets on this and say that, and when people throw this stuff in his face, he gets mad because he the one put this out there for himself. So when people bring things up about him, oh, you don't like me, you don't rock with me. It ain't about him. It's about R. Kelly. He makes it all about him. So when we see these things, Mr. Anton, we have a problem with it. It's not that we don't want to support or wouldn't support the defense fund, but messing with this guy, his credibility is shot. You know what I'm saying? Because of the things that he have done already. You see what I'm saying? And you, that's why I started explaining to you. You can't knock people for not want to support somebody who said they formed, but then you sitting up here rocking with the ops, talking to the ops, doing all these things with the people who who possibly pay a part in your homeboy being locked up. We don't do that. If, if you get me locked up, the how many people you think are really be rocking with you? You see what I'm saying? We we don't do that. We don't. I'm not trying, I don't care about the other side. They don't, they don't like R. Kelly, that's fine. But we support R. Kelly. But we're not finna be no kaboom by y'all, you my buddy. You can come over here and talk on my platform. We can have a debate. Ain't no debate. R. Kelly is innocent. We want the vindication of Rob. All that debating and indictments. And we don't care about all that stuff. We already know they will roll them in the system. I care about it. You know, that's all. So, dude, he tainted his own name. And so I guess he get new subscribers. He want to try to make it seem like he hasn't been a troublemaker in 2019. He hasn't been all these things in 2019 and continue to do things in 2020. Nobody wants to hold Mr. Distraction accountable for him. You know what? Dane is calling me right now because he's listening. Yeah, that's what he do. See, and, 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 and that's... Hold on, hold on. 
This is what he do. He see when. I'm gonna put. No, listen. I'm gonna put him on the line. Let's talk about it. Yeah, go ahead. Put him on the line. Yeah. Now watch this. Stay right there. I ain't going nowhere. I lost it, but hang on right there. Hold on, right there. Hold on, right there. Hold on, right there. Hey, uh, Dana, you're listening. Call me back. Yeah, he listening. Call, call Doug back, Daniel. Listen, I ain't gonna get involved in no fight. Everybody respect each other. No, no, no. Hey, listen, he called me the other day because he was in tour with uh, Mr. Dabowski and asked me where I stand, and I tried to tell Dana J, look, hey, I'm not finna let nobody mess with Dabowski. If we out there, I'm gonna roll with Dabowski. But I also told Dana, let it go, man. I tried to talk to him and say, Dana, let it go. It ain't worth it, man. All right, hang on. Stay Thanks, right Sunshine. Track, all right? Stay right there. First, I'm going to talk to Dana. Thank you, Sunshine. I'm going to hold with you for a second. I'm going to talk to Dana. That's right. And then, uh, and then uh, uh, he's, you know, half up, or whatever. Maybe we'll talk today and maybe we'll talk tomorrow. So if he doesn't want to come on right now, don't be like, oh, yeah, he's a punk. This and that. No, I don't. Respect hey, hey. All right. Hey. Respect him. Hang on one second. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, See, so far, Doug watch Hines what I tell you. That Every time Doug something good happens on this channel, I just said, don't do that. What do y'all think? Okay. Chime in and let me know. Is anyone really ready for the truth? The real truth and nothing but the truth? Just ask yourself why do we choose to click, click up? Why can't we just get along? Who is really the troublemakers on Kel's team? Crazy. Ask yourself this. Wait till you get on. But, you know, as I was saying, y'all, you know, it is what it is. Y'all, uh, yeah, it's, what can I tell you, man? I don't, I don't do this, man. Yeah, you know, on my channel, right? That's crazy. Doug, I'm back up. Are you there? Yeah. Okay. I got, I got Dana. I got Dana on his way. Well. Okay. Let's see what happens at one thirty in the morning. Just what happens in my life. Okay. Uh, this is, uh, okay. My suggestion is that you gentlemen speak to me and not each other, so there's no argument. So now Dana's been listening. Dana, would you like to tell me something? I'm just going to put it out there. Kevin's a liar. Kevin and tried to do everything to sabotage Rob. Kevin been pimping in the name of R. Kelly. And I'm just not going to stand for it no more. And him and the both, he tried to drag me through the streets for the longest. Y'all Doug, Doug, Doug been telling me to chill, but don't say nothing. But I just couldn't take no more, so I had to defend myself. Okay, stop for one second, Kevin. Don't say the uh, let me let me say this. Let me say this to you. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's do this right, or I'm going to sleep. Who's Jabowski or whatever you just said? Jabowski is one of his. Uh, is one of Kevin's. Um, is one of Kevin's Chicago homies. Um, no, he's not. Um, no, he's not. Allegedly, yeah, but allegedly they on uh, that other guy's payroll. Allegedly. <laughs> Who's on the table? Uh, uh, Don Russell. Okay, stop. I think. Okay. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Uh, Mr. Mr. Doug Anton. Right. Mr. Doug Anton, I do not yeah. know Don, never met Don. Whatever issue that Doug, that, that Dana has with Don is between yeah. them two. Now, every time Doug goes on somebody's platform, Dana gets okay. mad and think they work for Don. And he don't like Don to go on people's platform. I'm a YouTube blogger. So if Doug goes on my channel or the Boski channel, and just because we from Chicago, everybody is a clique and everybody work for Don. And I kept saying, I don't know Don. I never met Don. Don't care about Don. But just because they have a beef, that don't mean I should have a beef because he got a beef with Don. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. All right. Now, Dana, let me ask you a question. <laughs> No, no, listen to what he's saying. Is there any possibility, like, for example, we deal in evidence. Do you have any direct evidence you can share at this moment that uh, Kevin is either on Don's payroll or knows Don? Yes, yes, but I thought you got to do is check, yeah, check the email. Okay, that's the stuff you sent me. All right, that's that stuff you sent me? Yeah, everything. 
and if you want more, and if you want more, I can send you the rest. Yeah, I didn't have a chance to look at it all yet. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I let got me, no reason to doubt anybody yet until I see after. Let, 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 let me, hold on, Doug. Gentlemen, let me respond. Let me respond real quick. All right, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Listen, Dana J. Uh, Dana, Dana, hold on. Dana J. is known for docking things to make it seem like people work with oh these people God. and those people. This is why a lot of people don't oh like God. Dana. Hey, if talk, you listen to me, Doug. He said, I can talk. This is my channel. Yeah. Listen to me, Doug. Yeah. If you look in his chat, they would tell you for a fact that Dana J is lying and that I don't know Doug. Whatever information he's sending you is docked up because that what Dana does to try to sell his, his, his lies wow. to the people uh, like he's for R. Kelly. So, Dana, stop all that lying, man. You lie too much. And let me add this to you, Doug. Let me say this to you, Doug. Hear me, Doug. The other day, Dana called my phone. I'm laying in the bed, and we was talking on the phone. Now, tell me, did I not say this since you on the phone with Doug, Dana? You asked me what was my view. No, 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 Dana. You say you the truth teller. Hold on. Let me finish, Dana. When I talk to you, Dana, you ask me where did I stand? Yeah, see, because you's a liar. Because you's a liar. That's why. Come on, gentlemen, gentlemen, I'm gonna hang up. Stop one second. Hey, Doug, go and get your rest, man. We know what it is, Doug. Kevin, Kevin we agreed that you're talking to me, not to Dana. Okay, well, Doug. Well, let me explain this to you again, Doug. Okay, but just relax for a second. Okay. Dana called you up. You said, all right, continue. Right. Dana called me up because Simon Dubowski was having an issue. So he called me to see where I stand. And he said, hey, DJ, they was talking about this, that, and the other. And when I spoke to him, I said, Dana, listen here, Dana. Dubowski is fighting for R. Kelly. I'm not going to let nothing happen to Dubowski be out in the same streets. Listen to me, Doug. And I told Dana these words out of my mouth. I said, Dana, let it go. Leave it alone. Be the bigger person. I said, you messed up your own brand. What Dana did, hold on, Doug. What Dana did, he went into his community chat. Kevin, stop. Go ahead. Please. Dana, if you'd be so kind, just simply respond to that. Dana, this is what I'm going to say, Doug. Okay, I'm going to leave it here. Since he said, I'm going to lie about it, this is what I'm going to do. Since we're on Kevin Terrell's chat, here's what I'm going to do. Anybody that knows the truth, can they please call Doug Anton and speak to him alone without nobody call me? I'm I, I, I don't, don't give up my number to nobody. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, but I'm saying, like, yo, this dude is faking and he's lying. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Let me just let me just. Way, okay. And I exposed the whole truth, and now the only last recourse was to call you, and I had you try to squash it out, Doug. I'm not dealing with it. Okay. Dana, I don't gentlemen. need you, Dana. I don't need okay, you. Guys. You called me. I, I put us together. So we took our first step at trying to be civil gentlemen like we all are. People listen to you guys and they want to know what's going on. If you guys have any inside information or anything like that, because people want to know because they love one human being and that's Robert. So we're all trying to do the same thing. I'm, I'm imploring both of you. When this conversation is over, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. Hey, can I say this one last thing? Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, no, no. Not, no more time. Okay. I'm imploring both of you guys. Get on a conversation between the two of you. Stop calling each other liars because all it's doing is hurting a cause that we all work on together. And you can't do that. So whatever it might be, we're men, Christian men, Muslim men, uh, Jewish men, whatever we are. We shake hands and we start making a plan to work together rather than apart. I know your listeners, are sh on both of your uh, platforms, are going to enjoy that happening. There's a common ground here. we got to get together and find that common ground. I'm, I'm willing to uh, welcome phone calls tomorrow, and we can try to do that together. But for tonight, gentlemen, since, uh, since uh, Dana's on my line, when I hang up, we're going to lose Dana. So I respect both of you guys. I respect your audience and what everybody's trying to do. Um, again, you see where to donate if you want to. If this show was a little entertaining, maybe <laughs> donate to uh, Barack if you think you enjoyed it at all. So, uh, sounds like a telephone. But we have a job to do. You guys have a public job to do. I have a private and law job to do. 
right? I enjoy the conversation, but I don't enjoy it when it doesn't help the client at all. That's what we want to make sure we do. So, gentlemen, so have can a good I put something up real quick, Doug? And then Kevin's got to have to say something. It's got to be equal time. Just leave it right where it is, Doug. There's nothing else to say. We just leave it right there. It's nothing else to say. It's nothing else to say. Just leave it right there, Doug. Let's leave it right there. I don't want him to say nothing else on my platform. Leave it right there. All right. Let's leave it right there for tonight, gentlemen. Have a good night. I'll go Get you some rest, Don. I mean, Doug. Let's see. But he said he never, he don't know Don. Well, the jury is out. And the verdict came back like this. What's up with Don? I'm going to call Don. Yo, I got Don's personal number. I'm going to call him. Shout out to Prima Donna for her content. Uh, I don't know what's up with Don. I'm going to call Don. Yo, I got Don's personal number. I'm going to call him. So that's how we do that's how we do that. We deal with truth over here. He's been proven to be a liar. That's all it is. He's been proven to be a liar. Now back to Sean Hurst. Sean Hurst have MA1 investigation, right? And uh in MA1 investigation, um who was Tory? See, I ain't even looking at that. But uh MA1 investigation when Sean Harris called me investigating the defense fund he gave me an ID number of 11000218428 and he said that he was a PI the reason why I spazzed out on him and I'm going to put it out there the reason why I spazzed out on him is because when you look up an ID number and division of licensing and services is supposed to have your company. If you don't own the other company, it's supposed to have your name. It's supposed to have your business name and the business address and the county and the license type and the expiration date, right? Okay. Watch this. I'm going to see if y'all catch it. So now, MA1 investigation is Hazel Security and Safety Services, LLC, at 178 Beach Street, I mean, Beach 96 Street, second floor, in Queens, license type private investigator, and it expires at 4-22-2023. One thing about me is I do my homework. And before I say anything, I do my homework, which now brings me to this. Mount Vernon, newly appointed top cop released from police custody. And he said, I'm pissed. Watch this. Now, this ain't Sean Harris. Yeah, today is the worst day of my life. All right, it's been the worst first day at work for me that I ever had. You know why? Because I got absolutely nothing done today. Mm -hmm. I've been sitting in the back during the day that I should have been at work after I was reappointed as the police commissioner of the city of Mount Vernon Police Department. It's been an embarrassment for me and my family and the great city of Mount Vernon and the citizens who I've served my entire adult life serving this city yes. and my country, protecting the rights of the citizens of this city and this country. Right. And I'm totally embarrassed yeah. and I'm pissed with two S's, all right? And, uh, and I have no other further statement at this time. My attorney will speak for me. But what happened this month? Are you still the commissioner? Excuse me. Basically what's happened here is this is a demonstration of the crisis that's occurring in Mount Vernon. 
This is a situation where you have a child playing in a sandbox, hurting innocent people, innocent lives. He spent nine hours, over nine hours today, in a holding cell. With oh. nothing to eat when he and came nothing here, to drink. He came here to serve this city under a rightful oath office that was given to him. To sit here and have him put into a cell and treat it this way is a stain that will never get washed away from this city. While you have a mayor who's basically a former mayor, holdover, sorry, holdover, in the, in the mayor's office with police wasting the resources, guarding an office that does not belong to him when he's there and when he's not there. Wait, did he say a holdover mayor? If he's still in office, he's the mayor until they get him out. So can't no new person come in Bogard. What the hell y'all got going on? Let's finish. Those resources should be utilized serving the citizens of Mount Vernon, not arresting a man who came to do that. I must commend the district attorney's office at this moment. They asked that the police release commissioner while they review the matter. So if you're going to sit here and indicate that a man going to work gets arrested for trespass and other charges they're going to manufacture, while the mayor sits there trespassing every day, it's just wrong. Was this all politics? This is absolutely politics at its worst. You have a veteran who served in the Navy, who served this country in two foreign battles, served this city as a police officer for 20 plus years and as a commissioner. To be treated this way, he's a father, a veteran, and, a, and an active member of the, the service. This is, this is shameful, shameful. Okay, well, here, in my DMX voice, here we go again. This is Sean Harris. When, uh, so, so you can't escape it. I mean, they try to do a hostile takeover. I mean, I'm just saying. And then, this is when Sylvie and them sent him to come at me. Don Russell is, um, from what I know, is um, someone that cares uh, passionately about uh, Mr. Kelly. And uh, Mr. Kelly is aware of that. Don Russell is someone. No, 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 no. Let's do him again. Don Russell is, um, from what I know, is um, someone that cares uh, passionately about uh, Mr. Kelly. And uh, Mr. Kelly is aware of that. Okay. Don Russell is someone who cares about Mr. Kelly. And Mr. Kelly is aware of that. But you saying you don't know Don Russell. I be damned. You ain't going to get me in no situation like that. Uh-uh. You ain't going to get me in no situation like that. And you going to say that Mr. Kelly knows about Don Russell, right? But in the same token... Robert know that Don got him in the trick bag, but that he's in now. So make that make sense. Make that make sense. I'm just saying, this is not making this is not making no sense whatsoever. It's not. But he got a parking ticket because he tried to take over the commissioner position when the commissioner that was battling with the new commissioner or, or, or I guess it was supposed to have been a new commissioner coming in and the old commissioner and was still there because the old mayor and was there because the old mayor felt like he won the election or whatever that was. And half of the people didn't want the new guy in for they wanted the old guy to stay and the old guy stayed. So, you know, it's one of them little bootleg joints. So, it is what it is. Um, now, I'm going back to this. Jocelyn Smith. Here's another detailed sign. Right after this message right here, 
message to DJ Tyson when she pleaded her allegiance, Casey McDaniel. Right after that, Casey McDaniel disappeared for like a good three months and then popped back up as Jocelyn Smith. Now, I keep saying, if I'm wrong, please tell me I'm wrong and show me proof that I'm wrong and I will give you a public apology on my platform. But I know I'm not wrong. Because then I got some more stuff that's going to gauntlet everything out. Because Jocelyn Smith was on Bedbug Channel first. And then Casey McDaniel popped up. And then Jocelyn Smith will pop up. And then whenever you see Casey McDaniel pop up, Jocelyn Smith ain't nowhere to be found. But whenever you see Jocelyn Smith pop up, Casey McDaniel ain't nowhere to be found. And I believe that does. But before I go, everybody talk about what people done on the internet, right? And what people said. Everybody talk about that. Well, since everybody talk about that, I think we all need to talk about it, okay? And since we all need to talk about it, I'm going to do a three-part marathon that go a little something like this. And that's all I could, man, I, I, I was just so overwhelmed and excited, you know, and then, like I said, the people came in. The feel of him being there, you know, for his, his spirit being there. Man, and, 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 I, and that's all I could, man, I, I, I was just so overwhelmed and excited. Facts, Nikki. You know, and then, like I said, the people just don't see, but just they see that monkey, see they monkey do, they bandwagons, bandhoppers, they jumping on the bandwagon, oh, because they doing it, I'm doing it. But at the end of the day, before all this was happening, all y'all was rocking with them. Now, everything is about a dollar. Yep. dollar with the new uh, chevy, it's nothing about a it's all about everybody capitalizing on this man. And that's what it is. The thing, what I've done was from the heart because I love this music. I love this gift. We have man. And that's what it is. The thing, what I've done was from the heart because I love this music. I love this gift. He has a gift from God. What's right is right, but what's wrong is wrong. So, but enough is enough, enough, enough. Man got issues. We all know that. Man pissed on the girl. We all know that. We all know all this shit before now. I'm not that good. You know, you know what I'm saying? Come on. I can't even know but a dope dealer singer. You know how the dope dealer was back in the day? Yeah. You know how the dope dealer was back in the day? Remember when the dope dealer, when everybody know the dope dealer, had the rims and shit, and he could ride around town, and all the hoes, the little young thoughts knew he was the dope dealer, and then when they started fucking with the dope dealer, they got the new pair of Jordans. That's all I had to tell you is a dope dealer singer. That's what I call him, a dope dealer motherfucker singer. He sings his way into the young old life and buy him all this material ass. I can't even know but a dope dealer singer. You know how the dope dealer was back in the day? Do you know how the dope dealer was back in the day? Remember when the dope dealer, when everybody know the dope dealer, had the rims and shit, and he could ride around town, and all the hoes lived up? I'm just a messenger. I'm just a fucking messenger. That's all I am. Hate me, believe me, I don't give a fuck. But enough is motherfucking love. Man got issues, we all know that. Man pissed on the girl, we all know that. We all know all this shit before now. Look at this, this, it ain't that. You know what I'm saying? Now, I tell you, he's so motherfucking dumb, he can't see that he got off on the fucking, uh, what a molest, whatever the fuck that case was. And this goofy ass nigga still fucking with these young hoes. You waste your whole time on some thoughts, dude. Oh, it's a pussy. Billy cows. Get to this, you is. Now, I tell you, he's some motherfucker dumb. He can't see that he got off on the fucking, uh, with a molest, whatever the fuck that case was. And this goofy ass nigga still fucking with these young hoes. You waste your whole time over some dots, dude. Oh, it's a pussy. Get your motherfucking life, man. Get your motherfucking life. You should go to jail right along with R. Kelly at. Get life, man. Get your motherfucking life. You should go to jail right along with R. Kelly at. Get your motherfucking life. R. Kelly got issues. You know what I'm saying? And he talking about they want to lock him up like Bill? Oh, they finna lock his ass up like Bill. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he better start he, he, he better start singing that song, Prayer Change. Prayer change, you better start singing it because he gonna need it. And see, let me give y'all the T2 because I know somebody sent R. Kelly Camp. The man contemplated suicide, okay? 
my man told me he had a 38 gun and somebody had to tell him, man, Kel, put the gun down, all this old goofy ass shit. But I talked to somebody who know R. Kelly. You know what I'm saying? What are you? I'm saying R. Kelly is innocent about shit. Everybody know this nigga like young girls. Everybody know this nigga got issues, whatever the case by is. All I'm saying is the facts are the facts. But it's saying this is my honest, honest opinion. Kale's gonna do something. And they're gonna make him pay for all the time that he got away when they did found him not guilty. Watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you. Hold on. So, so what I'm saying is, at the end of the day, that's what it is. That's what it is at the end of the day. I don't got to saw something up. I put it up there real, real nice and jiggy for you. On that note, my daughter called. I got to go do daddy duties. Y'all be blessed. I'm out. Have a good Sunday. Peace. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Y'all could have been anywhere in the world, but y'all here with me. Peace. Swimming in you. Hey, little mama. Said I wanna take a dip in your pool. Just go on for a little dive, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah.